the prettiest time of day in my room right now. Should have made it like this every day. <laughs> anyway, I am Maddie and I'm a Heartmath certified mentor and the author of my book called Make Your Own Magic. And basically my goal in life is just to teach people how to be holistically healthy and how to stop relying on the matrix. Which if you haven't heard anyone use the term the matrix before, go watch the movie for one. But also when I say matrix, I'm just talking about like these systems that are in place in the world that we've become completely dependent on that don't actually serve us. Like we might talk about it a little bit today, but the main one that I'm focusing on is the pharmaceutical industry. And like this whole health industry that we think is here to help us and like has our best interests in mind. And then you actually do some research and find out like, wait, they're killing people? Like what? It's so <laughs> inverted and twisted and messed up. So I feel like one of my callings in life is to help people get away from that because I went through my own struggles. I thought I was gonna die. Like I was literally near death at one point and I've had to figure out how to get myself healthy again. And here I am just living life, <laughs> having a good time. So today we're gonna talk about stress in honor of my course called Stress to Your Best. It's open now. It's only open for three more days, guys. Straight up 48 hours for you to get into this course. Wow, look at how pretty that is. Love it. Anyway, open for three more days and it basically is gonna teach you exactly how to handle stress and how to bounce back like a freaking badass. Today we're talking about stress and what I wanna focus on really, where is this light coming from? Stress is the leading cause of death. Just soak that in for a second. Like, there, there's two types of stress. There's acute stress where it's like, you feel a little bit stressful, or maybe you feel very stressful, but it's just for a short amount of time, and then, you know, the situation passes, you kind of get over it, and you go back to normal. But then there's also long-term chronic stress. And I lived in chronic stress for about a year. Like, my body was permanently stuck in fight or flight. And like there was never any signal that told my body to go back to normal because I was just always like revved up, hella anxiety, hella just like stressed and my whole body was shutting down. Fight or flight, it's great for dangerous like survival situations, but to go through every single day like that, like it turns off like your functioning, it turns off your systems. So like your immune system, your digestive system, cardiovascular, sleep, reproductive systems, all these things just like go offline. So I was literally not functioning. My organs were shut down because of how much stress I was experiencing. So if you sustain stress for long enough, it's gonna lead to a lot worse things. So it can go on to things like heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, mental disorders, but society, like we live in this progressive, like go, 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 always do something, get to the grind. Like that's the society that we live in. And stress has just been kind of deemed as like normal, but it's not, it's not good for you. And especially not to be living in it for like sustained periods of time. So there are very strong links between stress and aging, death and disease. So here, here's a few article titles that I stumbled across. The first one says, chronic stress is linked to six leading causes of death. Second one says, stress is a leading cause of premature deaths. Third one, stress, the health epidemic of the 21st century. And the last one, yet another, <laughs> yet another reason to avoid stress, sudden death. <laughs> These are the articles about stress. Like, I don't think people realize how bad it is for you. Uh, the question is like, what do you do about it? And it's actually super easy. Like the answer is just to reduce your stress levels. Um, and you can do this, which won't only make you feel better right now in the moment, but it's gonna save you down the road from things like heart disease and the six leading causes of death. Like what? Uh, this is from the American Psychological Association. And this talks about this study where they examined the association between positive emotions and the development of heart disease. So they found that as people's positive emotions went up, 
they actually decreased in their risk for heart disease by 22% each point. So it was like a scale of five, how happy are you? One, two, three, four, five. And as people went up the scale, the risk for heart disease dropped 22% with each point. So if you're a five, like your risk of developing heart disease just went down, what is it, 88%? I think so. <laughs> Don't ask me to do math, that's not my forte, okay? So what you can do is just help yourself to feel positive feelings. And it doesn't have to be huge things like, I need to plan a trip and a vacation with my best buds and we need to go crazy. Like it doesn't even have to be as much as walking outside, which is fairly easy to do, right? All that's really necessary is taking a few deep breaths and literally just recall a memory where you felt really good. For example, one of my favorite things to do is I will remember the way that a sunset looked. And like, I don't know about you, but sunsets really speak to me and just seeing the beauty of the natural world like opens my heart so much. Like it's enough to make me like cry tears of joy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we live in the most beautiful place ever. <laughs> so I can be laying in my bed having an anxiety attack and it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna just think about that sunset and how connected I felt and how grateful I was and how beautiful it was and just like that sense of awe and wonder. And I'm just gonna sit in that. Like, I'm just gonna pretend like I am sitting there watching that sunset again. And I'm gonna let myself feel that same emotion for as long as I want, as long as I possibly can. And from doing that, it's breaking up that stress in your body. And it's actually creating different chemicals and hormones that go along with anti-aging, cellular regeneration, what is it, serotonin, dopamine, all those different things start to flood your system and you're like, okay, no more stress and anxiety. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything, this is kind of lit. So yeah, you really don't have to take these huge steps, just think of good memories and good emotions that go along with them and like try to feel those emotions going through your body. So I talk a lot more about this in my course. It's called From Stress to Your Best. It's a six week course where you learn all about the connection between your mental, emotional, and physical bodies and spiritual. Less about the spiritual, but whatever. But yeah, there's actually scientifically researched and developed steps and techniques to help you do exactly that. To help you bounce back from stress, to help you be more resilient, to help you naturally feel more positive feelings. It goes even way more in depth than just those three things. Like it's so practical and easy and you can do it anytime, anywhere. Like it's something that you'll be able to take with you through your entire life. Like this one six week course is still gonna hold meaning to you when you're 45, when you're 60. It, it doesn't ever end. It will always help you and it's so easy to remember that like it's gonna stay with you for forever. So we're open for three more days. <laughs> it's open for three more days. Enroll now while you can. I also highly suggest enrolling this time around because of course my doors are gonna close in three days, but then once you guys take the course, I'm gonna go update everything, like incorporate all your feedback, and then I'm gonna open it again a few months down the line. But I promise you when I open it, that price is going up. So if you want to save yourself money and so save yourself time and energy and bad emotions and the effects of stress and, you know, the list goes on and on, then enroll today, enroll before Friday. And I promise you, I promise you, promise you, promise you that this is going to change your life and you're going to want to tell everyone about it. So sign up. I'm so freaking excited. And... I'll just see you guys in there. Bye.